I just spent like 35 minutes ranting and raving into the microphone about Space Funeral, the greatest game ever made, and it was awful. It was complete. It was all over the place and it was incoherent and it jumped all around and it made no no sense. So I'm going to try it again because I think I can be more concise. I think maybe I don't have, I think maybe I can say what I need to say about Space Funeral in fewer words and you can all get in, get educated, and then get the fuck out of here. Um, so Space Funeral. It's an indie RPG, RPG maker RPG in the JRPG tradition um, by this guy, I'm pretty sure he's a guy, called The Catamites. Who run, he has a website called The Harmony Zone, or Harmony Zone, and um, he's a weird, he's just this weirdo guy. I don't know. I don't know the guy. He's. I'm sure he's perfectly fine and well-adjusted in real life but his web presence and the games he makes are fucking unhinged man i really like him kinda sometimes actually the thing about most of the catamites work most of his oeuvre is that it's it's awful in some ways or it's broken like a lot of his games are like super minimal just like a little experimental thing he made Oh, he made like a collection of 50 games or something and they're all terrible. They're all like just like click a thing and they're awful. Um he like last year he put out this 3D game. It's I think it's like a like an adventure overworld strategy thing called Mouse Guard or Mouse Core and it just doesn't it's just not done. Like you can't even play it. You you start it up and you walk around and immediately you're like, "Well, I can see that there's just not a game here like there was supposed to be. Um, oh, he's got he's got one called Trial of Murder Dog that is a hoot. It is a hoot, um, but it's like there's there's no gameplay. It's basically just like a visual novel, I think. Um, it's just it's just like a whole bunch of sound and fury, um, and even even his more fully realized games. Um, of which uh, there's one called Goblet Grotto, which is kind of a free roaming adventure game, and there's one and the newer one called Magic Wand, which honestly I haven't played much of, um, but I played a bit, and they're both, uh, they're they're fully realized games, but they're both really impenetrable, right? Like you start up you start up Goblet Grotto, and there's just you're just this like. There's this two dimensional like frog thing in a three d world in a free three d world and there's this like there's this constant like feed of information as these sounds play at you as these pictograms as these incomprehensible pictograms like scrawl across the top of your screen and your guy just your guy just wanders around going goblets goblets and you you just kind of like you have to refer to this out of game guide because the pictograms actually are like they're some like code that represents you know goblet grotto man's like innermost thoughts and like it's amazing because he's like his thoughts are being are occurring in in response to his stimuli and what's happening around him most of the time it's really interesting um but like you know it's really impenetrable um it's difficult difficult to get into and even once you get it it's still really hard to play like the game is it's a mess um even though it's got all these great ideas um space funeral is I think probably the Catamites best game and it's way different it's not like that at all because I think the reason why is because it's an RPG maker game it was made in this software that is very specific right like RPG maker exists for the express purpose of making fucking 2D JRPGs of the of the kind that we've all played a million of before right like there's sure you can mess around with it and and code stuff and change the code and do things with it but not not easily and it's not really made to do it's it's made to be it's made to create the kind of experience that's very follows a very specific structure and format 
and Space Funeral follows that format. Um, the create the, the the creativity in Space Funeral is basically all in. It's only in you know the assets and the music choices, the art and the story, the characters and so forth. It's not in the mechanics. It's not in the game design. Um, and because of that, there's no weird fucking impenetrable bullshit like <laughs> pictograms um, that get in the way of it being super easy for anyone to pick up and understand and enjoy. I mean, the story is a little bit, it's a little meaty. There is, you do have to, there, you do have to kind of think about it if you want to understand exactly what's going on, but it's, but it's, it's, I think the Space Funeral is something that anyone could enjoy, especially compared to his other work. Okay, so I really think that the, the what's great about Space Funeral, I think it's art out of adversity, you know, like the artists, the Catamites, he had to work within the constraints of this system, of this software, and I think that it was a big plus and made the final product a lot better. Um, yeah, and and speaking of speaking of working within a medium. So this is what I realized. I didn't even I didn't even have this point to make originally, but it came out as I was ranting and raving before and I was like, "Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true." Um I think that the story of Space Funeral is really well married to you know, the gameplay or not to the gameplay or the game mechanics exactly, but but the story of the game reflects and is based in what the game actually is in reality. What I mean is, okay, so here's the part where I spoil the whole game, the whole game because I don't care. I've played the game. I've enjoyed it to the fullest, to the max. Um and you should too. Um this is the part this is the part where you should get out of here. I'll put a link in the description. Go download Space Funeral, play it. It's free. It's like an hour long, hour and a half maybe if you're slow. Um, and it's one of my favorites, so uh, person, personal recommendation. I got a dog in this race. And, um, and don't you dare fucking comment. Don't you dare form an opinion unless you played it. Don't, don't say shit unless you play the game. Get, down, get, get out of here until you play the game. Then come back, and then, and, then, and then we can talk about spoilers. Then you can come back and comment and tell me what you think and if you agree with all the shit I'm about to say. All right, so... The story of the game is that you're Philip, this weird, this mutant cry pajama man monster, and you're you're going around just for, for you just leave your house and you just walk around and there's no idea what's going on. Everything is horrible. Everything's this hideous, fucking glitchy pixel aesthetic, and it looks great, right? The aesthetic of this game, I love it. If if you if you like the aesthetic that you see on screen right now, you'll probably like the game. The game is mostly an aesthetic experience, um, although there is a narrative um, that's kind of strings together all the weird, disparate little locations in the game. But you're going. You're you meet this guy named Leg Horse, who's the best character, by the way. He's this horrible, twisted mass of bloody leg stumps all tied together. But he has like he says like he has like this fierce pride, and he's like shakes. He's like he's shaking his fist, even though he doesn't have any fists because he's made of legs. Like he's shaking his metaphorical fist at like you know barbarians or whatever, and he's saying, "You worms, you slime, your barbaric ways are no match for the leg horse." That's like my favorite. I, I say that all the time. I love leg horse. Um, so Philip and Leg Horse are on a quest to change they got they got to change the world right or they got to save the world because something happened called the great change and everything changed and you get to the city of forms and you meet this guy or this thing called moon and moon says that the city of forms is what everything in the world is based on right like, like a platonic form like a platonic ideal that all real things like real physical objects are mere at mere reflections of these idealized forms of their attributes that sort of exist in like a higher plane, right? So the city of forms is like the perfect version of everything that everything in the world is based upon. And this guy Moon 
he says that he saw all the perfection and was like depressed by it or something he he wanted he thought that because it's so perfect there was nothing to aspire to so he corrupted it all and he turned it all bad and gross and now as a result everything in the real world is a reflection of this corrupt shit and so therefore everything is shitty and gross and you fight moon you beat him he's easy because the combat in this game is a fucking joke right like it's 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 no challenge at all um and you finish it and moon is dead and the city of forms reverts and what does it revert to but the fucking it reverts to like the generic stock assets sample jrpg that um uh, what's it called rpg maker like comes with pre-made as like a template to work off of right so what's happened here is that moon has come into this world that is what you what you imagine to be like a standard jrpg and he has looked at all the things that make it up and changed them and twisted them into these into these gross versions and as a result the game has retained its rpg structure like it still has all the things like it's got elemental weaknesses but the elements are weird things like crime and ghosts um and and so forth um so it's he's he's twisted this thing into this hideous version of itself just and you know that's what the game is in the real world the catamites fucking bought rpg maker or whatever and he looked at it and it came with all these stock assets and he took the assets and he and he just twisted them he he drew his own twisted versions of them you know instead of like a a, a japanese anime looking rpg hero guy he took that out swapped that out and replaced it with this disgusting this disgusting pink pajama monster and he said now now the game you know will this is the form this is the the form that all instances of this character will refer to and he did that with everything and he changed it all he changed he changed the forms the catamites the developer went into this game and he changed the forms on which everything was based and he he corrupted the world do you see so do you see that like the game itself is based like the story of the game is based in what the game actually is and how it was made and the ways it was made. So what I'm saying is that looked at in this way, Space Funeral is a real work of art. Um, it, it, does, it does what I think all great art does, which is to, which is to work for its medium, which is like, you know, to, to use it's the medium in which it exists in some in some novel way like to be it 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 could only be what it is because of how it was made and the medium in which it exists it it is its medium it's its fundamental nature is based in the medium in which it is being presented the story of space funeral so yeah there we go there's 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 the big idea, the big central idea of why of why Space Funeral um is great. And then of course there's the fact that it's just really crazy looking and really cool and it has whacked out music choices like the the fucking the music in the Blood Caverns is is cra is crazy. The music there it's got the the strangest music choices I've ever heard and it's just the whole, the the art and the music together just have i mean the atmosphere is like nothing else out there it is it's 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 like the shit that makes up the game is it's like the shit that makes up this game would have been would have gone into whatever kind of game it was and then because it was being made in rpg maker as a jrpg you know just these things just were hammered in like without any without prior thought like they weren't designed like they weren't designed for this game but by god he he fucking put them in there anyway god damn it and he, and he did it and he and he and the result was space funeral a, a twisted fucking reflection of the platonic ideal of a jrpg